I hereby, you can raise your right hand, you're definitely a conservative. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, always Congresswoman, a pleasure, Sean. <laughs> we always. Mm. Looks like uh, looks like Fox News is Sean Hannity's a little late to the party. That was a statement that I made back in 2019. Uh, but nonetheless, it is nice to see everyone, including right wingers like Sean Hannity, acknowledge that Tulsi Gabbard is in fact a right winger. Uh, in fact, why don't we go to a longer version of that very discussion so you can get a sense of just how far right she has gone? Is there any any inclination? in the administration or the Democratic Party besides Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema that you see that would adjust, adapt to and change their policies because the ones they're using are not working? Uh, it's, it's hard to see people being inclined to actually look at solutions to the challenges that everyday Americans are facing right now because they're so focused on the partisan politics. They're so focused on saying, hey, well, if that was a, a Republican idea or a Republican uh, policy, then it must be rejected. Uh, this was something, Sean, that I, that I saw and experienced when I first got to Congress, this whole mentality of, you know, if you're on the other team, if there's a bill that's, that's uh, being put forward by the other team, you gotta oppose it, and this is on both sides of the aisle. This focus on, uh, you know, uh, their own party, their own power, rather than just saying, "Hey, what's best for the people? What policies can we work together on to actually bring about solutions to the challenges Americans are facing?" And we're seeing how it is everyday Americans who are suffering the most from this inflation crisis, from the multitude of challenges that we're facing. They're the ones who are carrying this burden on their back, not the politicians who are too well. busy squabbling with each other. Oh, you know, thank God for Tulsi Gabbard, who knows how to rise above all the squabbling. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. she knows how to do that. Um, so yeah, a bunch of right wing talking points about how uh, Biden providing financial relief to Americans in his COVID relief bill uh, has led to inflation, just regurgitating not only right wing talking points, but more importantly, pro corporate talking points. Yeah. So there you have it. I mean, you can understand why Sean Hannity would finally come to the conclusion that Tulsi Gabbard, as I've known for a long time now, is just a right winger. So look, if you watch the whole thing and if you watch all of her appearances recently on Fox News, there's a unifying theme. I'm a Democrat, but Sean, I'm here to tell you, Democrats suck. And but okay, if she left it at that, by the way, that would be a fair point. But also, Republicans are so right. And you know, and once my check is cleared, and it has now, I'm going to tell you that my God, Republicans have so many good ideas, and because of partisanship, the son of a bitch Democrats won't listen to you guys. Really, Tulsi, name one good idea that the Republicans had in any of this. So, in the infrastructure bill, etc., whether the Republicans are they for paid family leave that pulls at about three quarters of the country? No, they're, every one of them is against it. Are they for lower drug prices? That pulls at 88 percent. No, every single Republican is against lower drug prices. Name one good idea that the Republicans had that are popular that the Democrats didn't do. No, you don't want them to do any of that because it would actually go to the American people. And now you've joined the bad guys and Fox News doesn't want to go into the American people, they want to go to multinational corporations. So when they, Trump was and the Fed were printing money and handing over $4 trillion to the biggest companies in the world, Tulsi Gabbard didn't say a goddamn thing. And Sean Hannity didn't say anything. All the right wing, the Republicans were like, bravo. No, inflation is great. Deficits are great. The debt is great. Let's just give everything to the biggest corporations. Now, when it's going to go to Americans, they're like, ah, oh, Americans. Who needs them, right? So she's out there to do cheerleading for the right wing. And so you don't have to take my word for it. When Sean Hannity said, hey, it's obvious you're a conservative. By the way, Sean, you idiot, you're not supposed to give away the game. Tucker is so much better at this. Tucker will have Glenn Greenwald and Jimmy Dore and these guys on, and Dave Rubin. Oh, well, you guys are so far left, and even you say we're right. Oh my God, Dave, you're gay, and you say gay people start forest fires. I mean, what can I do? Yeah, oh, Jimmy, I mean, you're the most left out there, and you agree that the right wing is totally right, right? See, that's how the game's supposed to be played, but Hannity's an idiot, so he's like, oh, raise your hand and declare you're a conservative. Mm -hmm. No, you schmuck, okay. And her anyway, awkward laughter is Yeah, so no, good. no, but that was what I'm getting to. He says that, and Tulsi's like, <laughs> yes, yes, right? You saw the tape, and she doesn't say yes, but she laughs giddily. If Sean 
Hannity said to me, Cenk, raise your right hand, admit you're a conservative. I'd be like, you want to fight now? Is that what you want to do? Like, no, I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, Sean Hannity calls me a conservative. I'm like, <laughs> get out of here, man. Like, at this point, the jig is up. It's, are there really any actual left wing supporters of Tulsi Gabbard? I don't think so. And even if you think you're a left winger and you still support every right wing policy position she has, I got news for you. You ain't in the left wing anymore. They totally catfished you into or No, <laughs> catfished is right. Okay, yeah. They mm -hmm. catfished you right into being a right winger. And now you're like, oh yeah, we're the most left wing by being right wing. If you say so, brother. And we're doing it based on principle because Tulsi's on. <laughs> and she'll come on our show. <laughs> okay, go, have at it, Hoss. She's, and by the way, you'll see going forward, she'll go on Fox News just like all of the sellouts, and they'll never defend progressive positions. They're on there to be the sad, pathetic people that they trot out to go, yes, Sean, yes, Tucker, you're right about everything, Tucker. When have you seen principled Glenn Greenwald go out there and rip into Tucker on Tucker's show? No. Every time he goes out there, he's like, you're right, Tucker, you're right, Tucker, you're right, Tucker, you're right about everything. A progressive hero, Glenn Greenwald, has announced that I am right about everything. Good job, boy, good job, boy. You'll get your check in the mail, okay? Uh, hey, Peter Thiel, do the rumble thing, pay off Gabbard and Dorr and Greenwald, et cetera, okay? And, and so they're doing it for the money. And it's the most pathetic thing I have ever seen. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.